Hello, welcome to the Everton News Daily. According to Telefootball, Farmer Sherry has agreed to extend his sale and purchase agreement of Everton with 777 Partners. There's been contradicting stories. and I'm going to just report both of them. Um, you know, this one and the stories that say opposite. But Telefootball, first of all, saying Miss Sherry is... Extend, agree to extend this purchase and sale agreement, which I think is shocking. I, I, I'll I get into everything about 777 in a minute and Rich, what Richard Match has had to say um, about why they have not been, um, why they aren't 777, why they aren't Everton owners at the moment. I just think the amount of bad news around 777 and Mishiri is willing to still leave Everton into their hands just shows that he just wants the way out. Um, if this is true anyway, he just wants a way out. He doesn't care about who Everton's left to, um, which I think is is immoral. He doesn't care what state we could end up in because there's no evidence that... Um, ultimately, we don't know what state we're going to end up in under 777. We don't know how good they are at running a football club, or, or our football club, I should say, sorry. But there's the only news around 777 is bad news. I'll get into the standard Liège news in a little bit, but... I think that's. I think this is crazy, um, if true. Um, obvious, but there is some um, contradicting news stories today. 777's bid to acquire Everton is all but dead. According to multiple sources, Fahd Mashiri has moved on from 777 partners and has pivoted a search for other potential suitors. Um, this has been going on for, for so long. And the fact that it hasn't been approved by the Premier League and there's been so much bad noise around 777 for months. You know, lawsuits that got they're going through, an airline, you know, going into administration. Um, they've lost the PR company. And, you know, we're in a situation now where last week one of their teams, Standard Age, they had a game, you know, cancelled or postponed. It didn't go ahead at the time it should have done because of protests from the fans about 777 to get them out. Um, it seemed like they've pretty much gone AWOL with standard age. They can't get in contact. The players aren't being paid. And that's just a mess. Um, this ties into the story of Richard Masters today. He was in Parliament and he was asked why the takeover has not been yet rejected. He said the Premier League has been very clear the conditions that have to be met by 777 if they wish to become the owners of Everton Football Club. And it has been going on for ages. Um, I don't know whether they can reject or they can't reject. Masters have said that they can't and then said that they can and then said that they can't. Um, but for me, as much as we don't like Richard Masters and what has happened with the point deduction fiasco and we know that Richard Masters probably isn't the best for his job, in my opinion anyway, this isn't really on Masters for me. This is, in my opinion, it's on Mishiri now to move on and recognise that these people, this, this organisation isn't probably the best company f to, to leave Everton in their hands um, and if Everton's fate were in 777 then you know who knows what could happen to us there's no evidence that we could be end up in a state like Standard Liège are but there's no exactly you know it's not good news is it surrounding 777 so if I were Farid Mashiri I would be looking for other potential buyers but we don't know the situa situation we're in at the moment um, we have no idea how close Everton are in administration hopefully not close at all and hopefully there's other opportunities opportunity you know seekers looking thinking if they can get Everton a cheap deal and this 777 deal doesn't go through then maybe they can get Everton in on the cheap obviously MSP could be another potential buyer we owe that money anyway so that equity could be turning to shares if they can come and you know buy the full um full percentage of Mercedes ownership then Maybe that's a probably better fit than 777 because there's a lot of bad noise around 777 at the moment. And, you know, so it's no surprise that the Premier League haven't accepted the, their ownership buyout. Uh, according to Bloomberg today, Everton have been offered a loan um, as much as £150 million by debt specialist GDA Luma Capital. We owe a lot of people money already. Uh, I think MSP have lent us around £150 million, which will probably get turned into shares. I think the more money we owe people, obviously the less chance we have of paying it back. So shares are going to start being turned. 
you know, giving out to people that we owe money to, and that's not good. Um, I have no idea what the interest, if there's any interest at all, or if there is interest, what that is on this loan. John Blaine's probably the man to speak to about business. I'm just here reporting that we have been offered another 150 million loan. We haven't taken it. It's not been confirmed, but yeah, it just seems that we keep loaning money off a lot of people. And if I was in so much debt to people, then I wouldn't be in a good position anyway. So yeah, we'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, finally, quick one today. James Rodriguez has responded um, to a post on social media about that he is unhappy at his at team Sao Paulo under the manager Zabueldia. Um and apparently wants another wants to return to Europe and he has commented on that social media post saying one last dance with a question mark which is uh, I wouldn't read too much into it personally I just think he's probably just having a little joke you know he gets on re really well with Everton fans he loved his time at Everton we seem to anyway um, but I won't be taking that too seriously if he does want to come back I can't see the club going anywhere near it to be honest the wages he'll want you know, he's at an age now where he's not got much longer left. He's not really a sellable, ass sellable asset. Um, and I don't really think it fits into Sean Dyche's team, to be honest. I think he likes, you know, players who work really hard. I imagine if he were to fit anywhere in this team, it would be on the wing because he won't, certainly wouldn't play centre mid. And I can't see Hammers Rodriguez with the little running he does playing on our wing under Sean Dyche. Uh, not quite the player I think we should really be going for, but... Um, I imagine that's just a little joke with Everton fans anyway. But it, as much as it, as much as it would be nice seeing him in a blue shirt again, I don't think that's going to wrap him, and I probably won't be the best for business anyway. Certainly under our financial circumstance at the moment. But yeah, that's all the news for today. A, a really quick one. I'm not that clued up on loans and business and all that stuff. I just like watching football on the grass. Um, so if you want to let me know your opinions or what you think about these loans or seven seven seven, then feel free to leave a comment. Uh, but do make sure you like and subscribe and join Sofa TV Premier for more exclusive daily content. It's all ad free and it's literally costs less than a Starbucks or Costa Coffee for the whole month. So, yeah, go ahead and join that. There's a link in the description and it'll be on the screen now. Thanks for watching. See you later.